What's up, ID Penang? Today, we'll be making Dalgona coffee, which we can give credit to both India and South Korea for this delicious whipped drink. The two flavors we'll try today is the warm chai latte and a nutty sweet ube. But first, let's go over the ingredients. We will need instant coffee. Please don't use regular coffee. Instant is a must. Sugar and a milk of your choice. This is the milk I had, but I suggest cow's milk. I use Tazo brand chai tea latte, ground cinnamon, coconut sugar, ube extract or flavoring. We'll need some ice and a couple glasses. All right, so let's start off making the ube flavor. Add your instant coffee and your sugar to a large bowl. Then we'll add in boiling water. The hot water is very important. Add your ube flavoring. Then on the highest or the whip setting, take your electric mixer and blend. And we'll just continue to blend the mixture until it gets very whipped. Just a reminder, all the ingredients and measurements are in the description box below the video. Once we have soft peaks, almost like a meringue, you know that your mixture is ready. All right, now on to the chai tea latte flavor. Add your instant coffee and your sugar to a large bowl along with cinnamon and boiling hot chai tea. Again, we'll use the whip setting and blend until we get those soft peaks. The chai tea latte did take a little bit longer to blend than the ube did but I just keep blending it until we get the soft peaks. You could also do this by hand, but it would be very manually intensive. All right, we're done. So now to assemble, just go ahead and fill the ice almost to the top of the glass, three fourths of the way filled with our milk and then top it off with our whipped coffee. This just makes it look really beautiful. If you want an easier preparation, put the whip in first, top it with the milk, stir it, then add ice. I like to top my chai latte flavor with cinnamon and my ube flavor with coconut sugar, but that's totally optional. And then to serve and drink, just go ahead and get the mixture all mixed up and that's it. I really hope you enjoy this recipe. It's so fun and super yummy. Please subscribe and until next time, cup jai.